But when I went to college, I lived in the woods, in the snow, Logan, Utah. It has the lowest temperature in the lower 48 states. And I did that for two fall semesters. And I didn't do it to get attention. I did it because I was working for the Forest Service and I didn't want to waste money on rent. And my parents were being real sticklers on me paying for everything. And so I'm like, well, if I'm going to pay for everything, I'm going to get like an Everest tent. I'm just going to live in the woods, in the snow. I did it and it ended up making national news. A tent. He's been living here since the beginning of the semester. Newspaper articles, my phone would ring. I'd pick it up six or seven in the morning and they say, homeless Ben, you're live on the air. And it'd be like Knoxville, Tennessee or somewhere. And they'd pepper me with questions. So that theme, I've been able to kind of keep that in my career where I really don't care if someone's done it. What I really care about is what I want to do. And so for some of my most successful AI projects, they've really kind of seeded on this very selfish interest and maybe this reckless ambition. It, it's almost like I'm naive to failure. You definitely need to have a healthy respect for failure. But I think if you think too much about failure, then it will kind of overwhelm you. And honestly, it'll scare you out of some of these projects.